Okay, so hello there and welcome back to another Fur Villa video. So I I um have decided on the schedule I will be doing. Um it is on Sunday I will be uploading Speed Paints, on Tuesday I will be uploading Fur Villa, and on Friday I will be uploading Animal Jam videos. So that's accurately what it would be. Um it could change and shift and there could be a few things messed around with, but that's the general gist of it. So, being Tuesday, it is time for a Faville video. So I'm going to start with just filtering through some of my notifications, I guess. So, a lot of people have sent me friend requests. Um, also, the beta is coming to an end on December 7th. So if you want to join Fur Villa because you're not already registered, December 7th is the day to do it. So we'll just delete all those notifications. Uh, go to my friends panel. And is it pending? Here we go. We'll accept all of those. There we go. Uh, I don't need those notifications there either. So now I have uh, three pages of friends. That's a lot of friends, guys. Um, but what I'm actually planning to do is have a look at my herbalist um, and collect some of these daisies because currently I'm trying to get a certain potion and I'm hoping to get lots of money from selling this. I don't actually want to use it myself, but I'm hoping I can get quite a bit of fur cash from it because I'm trying to save up for when all the new people join uh, so because I feel like the prices are either gonna soar or plummet I want to be prepared for if the prices go up heaps uh, so then we want to go to my alchemist and look at the breeding potion recipe which I can now complete so um, it takes 60 minutes to craft so I'll click craft obviously and I'll just do the main exploring things and then I'll pause it and come back to it once it's done. Sorry if I yawn a bit, I'm a little bit tired. I just uh, got back from school and had a interesting day. All right, so let's go over to the warrior and begin a battle. So recently actually, um, how many books won? was when I got the Dragon Tail Sword, which does so much damage. I actually couldn't believe it when I started using it. Um, rare Horned. Oh my god, 60 HP was taken out in just one swing. One swing. It just, compared to the small um, tooth thing that I was using earlier, this thing just max enemies in the face and just doesn't care. I haven't lost a single health point yet. Alright, so this has only got 7 out of 26, which is okay. This is 29 out of 37. Because I don't quite en have enough Dragon Claws to craft one myself, I actually purchased this one. Uh, I will have to uh, like mend this with steel until I can afford to craft my own, which will be an exciting moment to craft my very first one. So, I think we've been to almost all of them, although I think my blacksmith was crafting something. Yes, another dragon scale shield. So, I have quite a few dragon scale shields. I'm probably going to start selling some in this, um, like, now, actually. So, I don't think I quite have enough dragon teeth to continue. I mean, making another one would be nice, but I think I might wait a bit. Hmm, actually, does any of these need dragon teeth? Also, I have five sky coins, so I'm working my way up to what I want. So this doesn't need dragon teeth. Neither does the dragon claw knife. So, I may just make another dragon scale shield, just because um, I have enough 
teeth for it and I don't think I need teeth for anything else. And I can always purchase teeth if it comes to that. So what we're going to do now is go to the quick stock. Um, so let's go down. So I have a bunch of these shields. I probably want to move to stall the ones with the lower portions. So I may keep three of them and put three of them in my stall. So let's just submit that. Uh, confirm. And cool, items have been successfully quick stocked. Uh, let's go over to our stall. Actually, I think first we'll look at how much other people are selling for. So dragon, oh, dragon scale, uh, shield. There we go. Uh, search for that. And they're selling for about a hundred. So I'll sell them for a hundred and five. Ooh, under its sell by value. So if I went 105, 99. Okay, so the sell by value is 100. So um, I may sell them for 110, just so I can make a small amount of profit. I think a lot of people will be selling them at around this price anyway. It should still be pretty low. Okay, let's just check out this new news announcement actually. So, the staff has heard your concerns, they decided to extend the deadline, okay, because um, they were going to increase the third dollars for painties from 100 to 250, so it seems that they've extended it for another 48 hours, which was posted um, uh, only a few hours ago, yeah, yeah, because it would only have been the 29th for a couple hours for them. So about five hours ago, I think, they decided to extend the deadline. So there's still about 43 hours before um, you have to pay $253 for a painting. But I think I understand why that is. I think that's because of the daily streak and how if you log in for 90 days, you get a painting ticket. So I'm kind of ashamed of this really low login thing. What happened was um, I went one day without playing because I was really intensely playing Flight Rising, which is another game that I've also started playing, and I just forgot to log in. So I was at like um, 60 almost, and then I forgot to log in, and I lost everything and I was so close to the 90 day streak uh, it felt horrible but you know things like that happen okay so we'll just go back in um, and see how much longer this has it said it had an hour I'm pretty sure so we've 10 minutes is this 10 minutes okay yeah it's very long this is gonna be a very long video um, I may have to speed it up Nah, I'll just leave it as a long video games like this deserve time so I'll pause this and wait until this comes back. Okay, so I decided the last thing I want to do, well, the second last thing, the, the, the last thing before I do the potion thing is create, um, a, create a new villager. Sorry, my mind was just like taking time to take over. Uh, so we are going to... Ooh, there's an option. Oh no, it's plus. So one house plus 50,000 for cash. Well, I'm gonna stick with 10 villages. So, villager name. Well, let's look at this first. I'm gonna make this villager. Um, let's go with a rabbit. I'm going to make it a rabbit. Um, how about a tuxedo rabbit? Mm, tuxedo or spotted lop? I kind of like the spotted lop and the tuxedo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the spotted lop. Okay, we're gonna make it female actually. Um, sorry, this is female. I always get confused between these two. So sorry if I accidentally click male for female. Um, so I'm gonna name this one. Isn't there like a Pokemon named Lop Honey or something? Lop Honey. Hey, it is 
a Pokemon. There you go. And I'm not really into Pokemon, and I still okay. So I'm gonna name it Low Pony because because it's the Pokemon. Uh, and I'm really really bland with names. Uh. So yeah, filled out the form. Cool, we got a new villager. Uh, so we are going to make this one. So I have explorer, doctor, husbandry, warrior, construction worker, blacksmith, herbalist, and alchemist. The only ones I need are the crafter and the tailor. And I'm thinking having the crafter and the tailor as the same one. Because you craft things and you tailor things and yeah, yeah. So... Uh, unless I've already got a crafter, but I don't think I do. I may have to go back to my villages. I think maybe one of my explorers are also a crafter. So let's see. Oh yes, they have things in the crafting. Um, I don't know if they actually have anything in there though. So if I get this one to unlearn... Career data is irretrievable. I'm just going to get them to unlearn craft. Because I don't really want them learning it and using it. And sleep is my explorer only. So, yeah. I think we're going to make Lopani. Uh, crafter. There we go. Um, so, obviously a crafter doesn't have anything to start with. So let's go into, would it be Angelic Craftables? Yeah, Angelic Craftables. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I feel like I'm going to need a cloud sewing set. Okay, yeah, I have a thousand. I can probably afford this stuff. Let's just buy one of these because I feel like I'm going to need it. I haven't even checked the recipes yet. What am I doing? Wasting money immediately. Oh gosh, at least this isn't how I am in real life. Now let's take a look at that uh, Seraph Wings blueprint and see what I can do with it because, um, like, oh, of course, I'm going to have to teach it to Lapani first. Um, well, yep, okay. Uh, Seraph Wings. I've also got the that book, as you probably saw on the first page, if you didn't, I don't know. It's like a seraph book or angelic book. Okay, it, it, there it is. Okay, I thought it wasn't there for a second. I was like, what, did I go past it? No, I didn't. It just wasn't loading. Okay, so let's go back to Lapani now. Oh, we, we can just click this, can't we? I don't really use the active villager type thing very much, so I kind of use the, all the buttons at the top. Okay, so let's go to this blueprint. So we need one miniature wings and a hundred sky coin. Okay, okay. Not that bad, actually. I was expecting something a little bit more. So I'm gathering that the seraph wings is used in... Um, if I just go to it in the inventory, in the angelic pattern book. And I'm just actually going to see where prices are at for the breeding potion. I think, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, breeding potion. Just called the breeding potion. Um, search for installs. So, 17,000. So I may sell mine for 15 to 16,000 fur cash. Um, yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, we should probably check. I don't think it will be ready yet. No, it wouldn't be. But we can check where it's at. It's probably got half an hour left. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right. So I'll pause this for another 20 minutes. And um, then come back to it. Okay, so guess what, guys? The breeding potion is complete. It was very successful. So. I hope. Give it a little second to load, and that gives us the opportunity to put it in our stall. So it should be one of the first items that pops up, because B. And we'll put that in the stall, go right down the bottom to submit and confirm. And there we go.
there we go. All right, so let's go to our stall, which nothing has been purchased from yet, and go 16, 1, 2, 3. And update stock. There we go. So I'm hoping someone purchases this. Um, I would recommend this kind of price for you guys if you ever want to sell it because it's kind of a lower price. Um, I think it's worth it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of all really for this video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!